Jana Marie here, and today I'm going to talk to you about your gut health. The health of your gut, meaning your stomach, intestines, your entire gastrointestinal tract, determines the health of your body. If your gut health isn't in check, then you'll never truly get to the root of a lot of health problems that we suffer from today, because it all starts here. Okay. So have you ever had a time in your life where you were working out and eating right, yet you just couldn't flatten your stomach? I mean, you've tried everything, but you just can't seem to get your lower abdomen to completely flatten? Well, oftentimes when this occurs, it's because your gut flora is unbalanced and you need probiotics. Probiotics are anti-inflammatory. We've talked about inflammation several times before in my videos, so by now I'm sure you're aware that inflammation is the root of most diseases. In addition to significantly fighting inflammation, probiotics strengthen your immune system, giving your body the ability to protect itself from multiple diseases and to fight infection. Your gut flora consists of multiple microorganisms that live in your digestive tract. You have good bacteria and bad bacteria that live in your stomach and intestines. If the bad bacteria overpowers the good bacteria, then you'll start to experience symptoms like having a bloated stomach all the time or feeling abdominal pain. You may start to feel excessively gaseous or constipated. You could have brain fog where you just can't seem to focus or think as clearly as you used to. Or you may even suffer from extreme allergies. All of these symptoms can be signs that your gut flora is imbalanced. Probiotics are good bacteria, so when you take supplements or eat fermented foods, you're helping to repopulate the good bacteria in your gut so it can keep the bad bacteria in check and prevent it from damaging your gastrointestinal tract. Because our American diet is seriously lacking, a lot of people in the US are unknowingly suffering from health issues that lead back to the gut. In addition to bad bacteria, there's also yeast that naturally resides in the gut of men, women, and children called candida. Everyone naturally has candida in their body. However, if it overpopulates, it can lead to serious health issues. Candida expels toxins that significantly weaken the immune system. As I mentioned earlier, probiotics strengthen the immune system, and they work to crowd out candida. Multiple strains of probiotics have the ability to work together and act as antifungals, killing the yeast. Overgrowth of candida has been linked to multiple diseases like ADHD, depression, Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, IBS, Crohn's disease, multiple sclerosis, ALS, schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, and even autism. What do all of these diseases have in common? A gut-brain connection. Many people aren't aware of this, but according to Dr. David Perlmutter, a neurologist and author of the book Grain Brain, there is a gut-brain connection, meaning that the health of your gut affects how your brain functions. For instance, even though autism affects the brain, most people with autism suffer from gastrointestinal disorders or have some form of leaky gut. Now remember, leaky gut is when your intestinal wall remains open, allowing toxins to leak into your bloodstream, causing inflammation in your body. One study showed that when autistic children incorporated probiotics into their diet, particularly the probiotic Lactobacillus uh, plantarum, it, and I quote, reduced disruptive behavior, anxiety, and communicative disturbance, which means that the probiotics helped the children to respond to situations differently. Candida destroys your intestinal walls, much like grains do. Many autistic children can also benefit from eliminating grains and sugar. Candida feeds off of sugar. If you want to learn more about the benefits of going grain-free, then make sure you check out one of my previous videos called Going from Gluten-Free to Grain-Free Changed My Life. Now, in regards to Alzheimer's disease, one study found that fungal infections, candida is a fungus, were found in the brains of Alzheimer's patients. Another study found that the plaque that accumulates in the brains of Alzheimer's patients actually appears to be the result of the brain attempting to protect itself when it believes it's under attack from viruses, bacteria, and yeast like candida. A protein named beta amylase begins clumping together in the brain, forming a sticky plaque that accumulates between the neurons of the brain affecting its function. 
Although this plaque has always been regarded as a negative symptom of Alzheimer's disease, it appears that the brain forms the plaque to fight off pathogens like candida. Researchers discovered that this plaque actually suppresses the growth of candida. Now that is cool. For years we've known that Alzheimer's patients have this plaque, but learning that the brain is intentionally producing it to combat viruses, bacteria, and candida allows us to focus on what appears to be one of the main problems with Alzheimer's disease, which is cleansing the body of pathogens. Although more research is currently being conducted, this is amazing because it further proves the point that we need to understand why our bodies get sick. Whether the body is forming cysts because it is iodine deficient, as I talked about in my previous iodine series, or the brain is forming plaque to protect itself from pathogens like candida, there is almost always an underlying reason for the way our bodies respond. And if we don't seek to understand why, then we can't truly attack the problem. Instead, we just keep using medications to address the symptoms. Okay, so let's briefly talk about the science behind all of this, because when you understand how the gut and the brain are connected, it makes sense that an imbalance in your gut flora could lead to many of the diseases, diseases that I mentioned earlier. A lot of people um, also aren't aware of this, but the gut has its own nervous system called the enteric nervous system. It's very similar to the central nervous system in our brain and spine. And so researchers call it our second brain. These two nervous systems are actually connected. The second brain in the gut contains multiple neurons and plays a significant role in our behavioral and emotional well-being. Most people think that the gut only focuses on digestion, and that just isn't true. Serotonin is found in the brain and in the gut. It's a neurotransmitter that regulates our mood. But get this, around 90% of serotonin is found in your gut. One study compared mice that had healthy gut flora to mice that were lacking gut flora. The mice that were lacking gut flora did not behave like the other mice. The lack of gut flora negatively altered their behavior. This study helped to show that probiotics, or the lack thereof, can greatly affect how we behave and feel. Okay, so after all of this, I hope I've made it clear that healthy gut flora is crucial to our health. Everyone can benefit from supporting their gut flora and making it healthier. If you've ever taken antibiotics, then your gut flora has most likely been compromised because antibiotics kill both the good bacteria and the bad bacteria, leaving your body defenseless and opening the door for candida to take over since there's no longer any good gut flora to combat it. Probiotics are essential. They help to prevent cancer, uh, lessen the chances of children incurring developmental and behavioral problems. They prevent yeast overgrowth, which can manifest as oral thrush, yeast infections, mental illnesses, and so much more. They strengthen your immune system and they fight inflammation. They also encourage weight loss. You'll be surprised at how flat your stomach can get when it isn't inflamed internally. Now, let me tell you guys a little bit about what I do. I take a probiotic from Global Healing Center called Lateral Flora. It works extremely well to keep my gut flora healthy and balanced. Here it is right here. Now, some people may or may not experience a Herx reaction when taking this for the first time, but I would advise taking it slowly to see how your body reacts um, because it is very powerful and everyone's bodies are different, but this is a great probiotic. So, as I've mentioned before, I have been grain-free now for over a year. So there's a product that I'm also going to recommend to you guys, but I don't um, personally use it anymore because a lot of their products have barley malt and oat flour in them and I don't eat grains. But I still want to mention it because it's a great probiotic drink called Good Belly. It comes in multiple flavors and it is dairy-free and soy-free. And they also have some gluten-free options for those who are wondering. Now, when I was first trying to understand gut health years ago, Good Belly really helped me in the beginning of my gut healing journey. So if you aren't uh, currently grain free and you want to get started somewhere, Good Belly is a great start. Now, if they ever come out with a paleo friendly pomegranate blackberry juice, then I will be all over it because that was my favorite juice of theirs. As some people know, um, I consider myself a Turkitarian since I primarily eat turkey as my meat source. 
I'm not a fan of seafood, uh, so I take omega-3 supplements and I don't eat red meat or pork. However, I do ingest a beef gelatin powder made by Vital Proteins, a company who makes tons of great collagen products. Here it is right here. Collagen is the most abundant protein in our bodies. It's found in connective tissue and it's essential for our bodies to function properly. Vital Proteins only uses grass-fed cows for their beef products. Um, this particular beef gelatin powder works amazingly to heal your gut. Gelatin has the ability to coat our intestinal walls, filling in any holes or damage that may have been caused by gluten or grain-filled food items, candida, or other types of harmful pathogens. Beef gelatin powder is great for healing a leaky gut and preventing it. Since beef gelatin is basically collagen that's been cooked, giving my body collagen every day helps to keep my skin, hair, and nails healthy and strong. I put the powder in my smoothie every morning, and uh, I specifically chose beef gelatin because after much research, I personally found it to be the most effective. I've used it for about a year now, and it is definitely a staple in my health regimen. Anyways, guys, I really hope this video has been helpful. Nothing but peace and love. Thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, you are not alone. We are on this journey together. Until next time.